So many false prophets have gone out and their whole their whole uh, purpose is to fulfill biblical prophecy. Somebody has to play the role of false prophets. Somebody has to while the people are being warned and we're blowing a trumpet, Zion, in the holy mountains, there's got to be somebody saying, no, no, there's peace. No, everything's good. Everything's straight. You don't got to worry about it. Matter of fact, the white man ain't even Esau. You know, it's the Hawaiian, the Polynesian. Esau's dead. Your number one chief enemy, E, they want you to think of all types of stuff that, that he's he's gone away, you know, he's not who they say he is. All type of false prophecies. But the counter of false prophets is those people that's rebuking them, but also it comes down to you having to diligently have studied to show thyself approved. That's Second Timothy chapter two and fifteen. You got to study to show yourself approved. How do you study? By reading the word. Scripture says, Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, verse. Wait, not verse 2. It's, uh. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Blessed be those, blessed be he that readeth. John the Revelator was told he had to take the little book and eat it up. And he had to do what? Go prophesy again. Revelations chapter 10 and verse 11. Revelation chapter 10 and verse 9. I'll start with verse 8. Revelation chapter 10 and verse 8. And the voice which I heard from the heavens spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took little book out of the angel's hand, and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, it eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, and nations, and tongues, and kings. So, that was when he was commissioned. He was anointed to go teach. You know, if you eat, if you eat the, the whole roll, eating the book, you read, you have, you have read. It's what we're commanded to do. The scripture says, the book of this book of this law shall not depart out of thy mouth. That's Joshua, the first chapter, I believe, verse seven or verse eight. Possibly, I think, more likely, verse eight. And also scripture says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. And when a man speaks of oracle of God, they're speaking his word. And what has been revealed unto him. This is real quick. Bear with me. And again, this is up, up, up too far. Second Peter Nope. That's to B. 
digo. This is First Peter chapter three and verse. Hold up one second. It's like First Peter chapter four, verse eleven. It says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through help. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, you speak of the oracles of God, you're speaking and doing what God says to do. And what God said to do is to basically go out and teach. The book, the words of this book should not depart of that. Words of this book should not depart of that mouth. But a false prophet, what are they going to do? The words they're going to speak out of their own, you know, speak out of their own belly. And uh, one second, First Timothy. Grab First Timothy. Corinthians First Timothy should be four. Yep. First Timothy chapter four, verse one. And the spirit speaks expressly that in a lot of times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Prophesying falsely. Have your conscience seared with a hot iron? You ever take a uh, iron and you brand something, a hot iron, it stays on there. Their conscience is seared with that hot iron, meaning they can't get it off. It's on there. There's no rebuking them. There's no bringing out precepts. There's no debating back and forth with them. They're going to believe what they're going to believe, and that's they, that's they lot. Those, you get, you know, pissed off at them, but then it's certain, you should be like, damn, like, that's your lot to take a missile. When the, when the time of Jacob trouble arrives, that's if you get there, if you ain't killed by the, the famine or the pestilence or the race riots. But like, man, yo, you just, you, you was put on this earth to be destroyed. But that, that blood is on the hands of these false prophets. There's blood on the hands of these false prophets. You got these false prophets going out here saying that, hey, the, the mark of the beast is actually not the the uh, the sea hip. It's something else. So what does that mean? You actually can take it then, because it's not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is Christianity. Christianity, then we all have the mark of the beast. You have to really, really study to show thyself approved. There's tons of wolves and sheep clothing operating, and their whole agenda is to get you off of your path. There, to get you off of your path and to make the most high you know to be mocked this is uh one second This is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14. One second, actually. Okay, 2 and 14. Do all things without murmuring and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, 
in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. So do it when you don't want to do it. Prophesy, teach, do that when you don't want to do it. So you blameless and harmless. So a person can't say nothing but about you other than make up some false allegations. And if you solid, your reputation will be able to withstand that. And on that note, I'm going to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakwadash, Nebulon, the elder GMS, you will well, peace, salutations, and shalom.